shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, hold up, man. Hey, man, we've been blessed, man. Blessed by the best, man. We got a guy in here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. He been ripping the mic. I've been hearing him, man. This boy right here, he's serious about what he do, man. He gonna drop us a 16 today, too, y'all, so y'all ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> check it, man. That boy got him easy in the building. Oh, it's the goddamn deal. Man, what's yeah. going on, man? Oh, man, I'm just cool and blessed, man. man. Thank God to be here with y'all today. Man, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We are, um, man, you know, we uh, we do it a little different here. You going to get on him? Or I'm going to have to get him. No, I got it. I got <laughs> it. Yeah, <man. laughs> no, I like to um, go in your background. Okay. I want to know everything about you before you even was going to Okay. As a kid growing up, where you grew up, your parents, I want to know everything about building the character that you are today. Okay, let's get it. So tell me about where you from. I'm from East Dallas. East Dallas? Yes, ma'am. What part of East Dallas? Fraser Court. Hmm. What was it like growing up over there? Uh, crazy. Crazy how? Yeah, it was crazy. How? You know. Shit. Is it more crazy than growing up in Oak Cliff, in West Dallas, any of these other places? We gangbanging, though. So, you know. They gangbang other places? Not like us. Why? What makes you <laughs> we, different? We gangbang for real, for real. It's like, it's like baby California or something like that. Like Fort Worth? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I can't speak on Fort Worth. You ain't, you, ain't from, you ain't from over there. No, I'm from Dallas. You know. But you said like a baby California. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We were the shit. Okay. Yeah, we were the shit. Really. Okay. So you got um, siblings, brothers, sisters? Yeah, I got a uh, little brother, little sister, big brother, big sister. Okay, so but you in the middle. Now, nah, as far as my mama kids, I'm the baby. But my oh, daddy got five kids. Uh, yeah. So you mama's boy. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I'm just regular. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you didn't grow up with your daddy in the house? Nah. Why is everybody like that? But I, I, my stepfather, Squeak Mac, you know, he raised me. You okay. Know, so, so you had that Dallas. father figure. He from Dallas. Yeah, to to extent, because he, he was still in the streets, too, but he showed me a lot. You know, he okay. gave me the ropes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I love him to death. Okay, that's sure. good. So you didn't go through that, that, that. What should I say? You not my daddy type of thing. Nah. I did that. Nah. A few times. Nigga, you ain't my daddy. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I was bad as a kid. My, 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 shout out to R.I.P. to Willie Hudson, man. That boy used to try to go get food and everything. I was still hard on that nigga. Yeah. That's just the way it be. You know, like a nigga know I knew my daddy. I'm like, that nigga ain't my daddy. Nigga, you can't tell me nothing. But at the end of the day, I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, he wrong. As hell. That nigga would walk in the snow and get food and everything. He wrong. In the I, snow? In the yeah. snow, wherever. That nigga That's your daddy. That ain't you my daddy. No, he my walked daddy. in the snow. You know, man, that nigga ain't my daddy, man. That's my, your daddy, pops, man. my daddy really was. He he was there too. He just crazy as hell. All of them were crazy. And that's his why daddy I wouldn't go crazy. get it. His daddy would have told him to go get yeah, it. Yeah, that nigga would have told me to go get in it. In the snow. Wow. And he didn't play. So you got like five daddies? I got uh, a couple. Too. Oh, okay. But but yeah, because man. my you know my mom my mom and, and my stepdad and my dad passed away. I'm an older cat, so oh, okay. everybody gone. Okay. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't change a thing if I had to go back and do it all over again. All right. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah, that's the way it be, man. You know, even you know after I uh, you know going through all my phases, I just wouldn't change a thing because at the end of the it day, makes you who you are today. Well, yeah. For sure. Plus, my stepdad was crazy when he get on them uh, bush. Bush Bureaus. <laughs> <laughs> it tells some hell of a stories. You know what I'm saying? So, East Dallas, man. So, yeah, I used to get off on East Dallas. I left for 82 Coupe de Ville at the Dolphin Store right there, where you get off right there, where uh, you don't know you're young. My nigga. partner probably nah, stole nah, it. Was, no, I left it there. <laughs> he didn't steal it because I left that hole. You know, I, it didn't it quit. There was a box in them holes that'd be messing up. Yeah. So, I was like, damn, man. I, I just went and bought another one. Like, I never went back to get that 82 Coupe, but I wish I had that Coupe today, boy. Uh, yeah, we probably got it scripted so you know how I go hey, yeah Dolphin used to work you had, you had to go over there and buy beer back in the day shout that, out. It, was, it was dry over here mm -hmm. but it was wet over there shout out <laughs> shout out Dolphin Ace of Dolphin off of 30 yeah man you in that east one. you right there yeah, east you side. make that 11 go over man you in that, in yeah. that. so you was in here. the uh, projects yes sir wow how was it like like, I know we had a couple of people on here to tell some stories about Stop Six, Rupert Circle, Fish Trap. Like, how was it over there? What was the thing that stuck out? I, I've heard stories from people being shot in their legs and all that. Like, all, every, like, a lot of shootings and stuff going on. How was it coming up over there for you? Was it just a lot of As drugs? As a kid. You know, how was it? Uh, <clears throat> see, my, mom, my mama was 
even though she did what she did, she wanted us to stay out of the streets. But you know, when you go outside, and I witnessed my first murder in E Dallas. You okay, know, nine oh, years old coming yeah. outside, and it's like ah, he really did. You know, at the time it don't hit you, but as you get older, it affects you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're seeing more shootings, you're seeing more killings. So it's like that. There might be somebody close to you too who got killed. Yeah, uh, a guy named Do Daddy from E Dallas. You know. When he died, it was it was like an awe to the hood, you yeah. know. So it was like, damn. When Dude died, it was like, oh yeah, this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So he had no choice but to embrace it though, you know. So, uh, shit, I, I feel face first and the shit, game bang. Wow, I mean, you know, you you one of those guys. Like I said, um, I heard you here recently. I didn't know you before, to be honest with you, mm-hmm. but I just heard you here recently. Uh, I heard you. I, I seen you do a freestyle. My son is 28, so he's sending me all this stuff, bro. Okay. And he's sending me this stuff. He see. He, he said, "Man, Dad, you gotta check this one out. You gotta check this one out." Cause he know I'm not tapped in like that. Okay. He know I'm not checking for you. But at the end of the day, he checking. So he calling everybody. I think he called. You had a manager. Your manager was, I think it was uh, Cornelius. And you, you, he called him. He was like, "Man." Uh, I want to get Gunna Mesa on the show. This happened a few times, but okay. I don't be know. I just know he tells me all the stuff that he right, right, doing. Right. But anyway, and then another nigga named Show call and try to. But it, it was just times when people trying to get you on the, on the platform because you had a dope style. Right, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I heard that. I heard the freestyle, the uh, the the outside freestyle uh-huh. by Bobby Billion. You ripped that. Yeah, um, shout out Bobby. You got a lot of uh, the way that you the way that your sound is, the way that you ripped the mic. What inspired that? Oh, the streets. I mean, I just rap what I live on everything that I did, everything that I went through. So it's like, that's the way I vent, you know. I don't talk a lot. Okay. It'd be hard for, as you see, I'm fucking with my fingers when I'm doing this interview because, like, I don't like to talk. You know what I'm saying? I deal with that on the daily with my old lady because she be, you know, <laughs> I don't like to talk, you know. But mm-hmm. even though I love her to death, I just don't. See, a woman bring that out talker. in you. We make you talk. Yeah, you feel me? Oh, she gonna catch your attitude. Now it's a whole beef. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now when it's beef, I go to talk. What the fuck wrong? You know what I'm saying? You know, so, but. I've been there. Because you I don't, don't want us to give us a silent treatment. That's the worst. I, yeah. It's on accident. It's not It's not a purpose thing. It's on accident because it's like, it's like, yeah. I, I'm just not a talker. You feel mm-hmm. me? So when I go to the booth, everything just pour out. It's like, it's, yeah. it's this the way that I vent. This the way I can really express how I feel or, you know, if I want to tell you something, just know you're going to hear it on my next song, the way I, I feel about you. But, you know, one thing I do want to ask about that, because they always say um, doing that, that's therapy because you get it off your chest. Uh-huh. But you don't really have nobody responding to you, nobody really giving you advice or criticism or anything at all. So how does that work where therapy is concerned? I pray about it. Once I let it go and I listen to my song like I'm at the house chilling or something like that, mm-hmm. just in my own little world, I just talk to God. You know, he might he not gonna holler at me in the next minute, not gonna holler at me in the next month, you know, but later on down the line I can say, Oh, okay, that was your answer to this situation or That's this song good. or that song, you know. Uh but, baby a uh, baby will tell me she'll be like, Nigga, you know what I'm saying? You need to do this. You, All right, baby. You've been doing music for a minute. Um uh when we look look at your uh career, what okay, you when you, you bumped your head of course, you've been through some stuff. When you what makes it different now than it was then? Then I, was, then I was in the streets, heavy. You know, I wasn't paying attention to the music. I wasn't paying attention to the business. I didn't care about what friends was doing with their music and what they was trying to do to affect me and my craft. I didn't, I didn't care, you know. And shit, now it's like, back then I, I said this before and people got to understand, like, I didn't love myself before I went to prison. Okay. I didn't care about me. You know, it was fucked up, but it was real. It was just how I was living. Did you have kids before you went to prison? Or do you have kids? I didn't know about my child, you know. So. Okay. No, because that, the reason why I asked you that, because, you know, you said you didn't love yourself and stuff like that. Because a lot of times when you have children, it's not about you anymore. It's about, you know, love. Exactly. Right, that's why I was asking that. Yeah, so, like, now... I'm in tune to what's going on with my life, like where I want to go and where I want to be and my loved ones and, mm-hmm. you know, where I want them to go and where they want to be and where they want to go. So I'm I'm hands on with everything. So I try to I try to take this music shit as serious as possible right now. So, you know, when 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 you say you, you know, you're doing it seriously now, when you sit down for that time, what did you did you learn to process your music differently as far as the way that you the, because styles change. 
So how how Mind is your, how it stayed the same the whole time? I've been rapping this way since I was a kid. Like I've been even though even though like probably I recorded my song my first song I was nine years old. Probably wasn't making no sense then, you know. But I've been the same way. I always had the same little tempo. I always had the same little fear shit. You feel me? So when I got out of prison, I couldn't say like it it you know evolved or nothing like that. I mean it did evolve, but I'm saying like switching it up or something like that is me you know so shit and it's the way that i talk it's the way that i rap it's the way that i live so shit i just let it go tell me about them time when them niggas you know uh told you up in the day room because you could not rap them niggas don't tell me oh um, i done told their <laughs> ass up so many times hey i used to have niggas so mad at three bid and two bid and fuck you know what i'm saying they done brought all they all their little money all their little commissary and then i'm a new young nigga on the yard so you know they think they've been doing time they think this shit that they writing pressure you know what i'm saying you know, I'm fresh out the streets, you know what I'm saying? This is shit that I ain't, I ain't never heard before. So, you know, when I come in, uh, a way to make money was, of course, you're going to find your hustle, you know? So, yeah. a way to make money was, hey, you, you be rapping? I'm like, yeah, I rap. What's up? You want a bet? Bet what? Who who got the hardest 16? We can go back to back. We got three rounds. Shit, yeah, I'm tough. I'm out. Oh, shit, let's go. Go get your money. I'm going to go get mine. We been 20 flats every time to the point where this guy fuck with me, this guy fuck with me, everybody putting their money on me, so they building, putting their money on him. You know what I'm saying? We'll go to the wreck yard. I'm chopping niggas up every time. Yeah, I'm coming home with the bag. Yeah, Every yeah, time. Every time. That's how I build my name on the compound. They knew who I was. You know what I'm saying? But the, for the people who didn't know who I was, Shit, yeah, bring your money. So you gonna tell me now? One of them, now one of them niggas took you out. Now one of them Houston niggas took you out. Not playing, one. Nigga. Shout out to H Town, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Shout out all my partners from Sky Block. You know what I'm saying? Fifth Ward. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what it is. Yeah, no, y'all know me to talk that <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, I like I like the fact that you you know the confidence is there definitely. Um, I, how are you gonna scale uh, in in like? Now time today, and the way that they're marketing music, the way that they're pushing it now, how are you gonna deal with that now that you're home? It's been difficult. I ain't gonna lie, but that's why I think I'm thankful for Low D's. I'm thankful for Big Kiki. You know they they behind me 100, percent and I they teach me a lot. You know some shit I don't understand right now, but you know I got I know they got my best interest and I trust them a lot. You know so Low D's is the one. Um, I, I can tell you that. I'm, um, he definitely rocking out and doing what he's supposed to do. I, from what I can see, very professional. So I, I don't see no there being no problem. The work ethic is there too. So I'm, I'm gonna see what y'all do. If y'all flop, nigga, I'm gonna say it on Boss Talk 101. Them <laughs> niggas flop. Them niggas ain't working hard. Them niggas where they at? We, where them niggas at? We don't know. I'm gonna be like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so that, that explain to me like what made you do the uh, uh, the, the outside? Did you like the song when you locked up? Did, did was it out before you was locked up? Or uh, what? Tell me what made you do that song? Yeah, I heard it in the cell. I heard it in the cell. Honestly, people think I'm gonna keep it real with you. People think can't nobody touch that song like you know he did. You know what I'm saying? So I know what I can do and I know what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I did it. You know okay. and shit. It's what a hit. What, what, I heard you on another song too. You you got a couple of videos out there here. Quick, uh, uh, who do you like working with when it come down to producing? I got a lot of producers, but I'm I'm focused on one right now. His name Boz. Okay, you know uh, he dope. That's just hands down, like he dope. So. Oh yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's my engineer. I'm that's tripping. it. You my gotta bad. be dope too, though. My bad, but uh, so he's your engineer, though. Yeah, but m m the person that made my beats is Ziggy. You know Ziggy saying? been doing yeah, it. Yeah, Ziggy make my beats. You know Ziggy been on the show. Yeah. That's my guy right there. Ziggy tough. I don't care what nobody. Yeah, everybody nobody talking about Ziggy, Ziggy, man. Ziggy, man. Ziggy, Ziggy told tough. me once he blow all the way up because he already up, but when he blow all the way up, he say he ain't gonna forget about me. I I'm got his own <laughs> doc. Then we get it. I don't know what you gonna do because yeah, it's not enough room for you. <laughs> Not no room for you. We gotta put you in the closet or something. I'm fucking with Zig all the way. Already, I don't man. Know what you gonna do? Uh, yeah, for sure. Nah, shout out Ziggy, man. He's a dope, dope, dope beat, dope yeah, beat so. maker, man. So, what, like, like when you think about just uh, where music is at in the Dallas area, um, well, how do you feel about it now that you're home? I think it's dope. Outside of yourself? I think it's dope. What's you know what dope about you got, it? You got Yellow, you got Freddie, you got. Zeddy, you got Levi. It's some dope ass artists out there. You know, people just gotta cut their ears on. You know what I'm saying? 
So, you know, and the ones that's in a position, they doing what they supposed to do, you know? So I think it's the, everybody wants the spotlight, but you got to play your position. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, your time your time won't come around, you know? And when it's your time, do what you're supposed to do for the team, and the team is Dallas. You know, and that be the thing. People want to be Curry. Everybody's not Curry. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be Shaq. Somebody got to be Kobe. Somebody got to be, you know, and let's win the game. I got to ask you about this. Uh, Cornelius, he was with you before you got locked up. Was He He was your manager then, right? Yeah. And then when you came home here recently, I've been seeing rants and different things. Uh, what made you get pretty much change management? Um... I guess he went through a situation that I didn't know nothing about, you know, and the way we move, we don't move that way, so I moved away. Okay, and you made that clear to him and everything as far as he's no longer working with your team whatsoever? Not at all. Okay, um, so how did that affect you, you the way you was, because you already had a plan. I know how it is when you're locked up. In your mind, you have a set situation and a plan of how you're going to come out and accomplish things. All right. How how much did that offset what you was already thinking you were going to do when you came home? Not a lot because, I mean, my team hold their weight, you know. So one monkey don't stop no show, you know, shit. We're we going to do us, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't just like a hell of an offset. Nah, we did what we did and we kept pushing, you know. Like I say, Low and Kiki, man, they different, you know. It, it, it's, real, it's real different, you know. So shit, it wasn't nothing major to do. Mm -hmm. Shit, we just kept pushing. Yeah, I went to the studio. Shit, they buckled down on their situation. Shit, we kept grinding. We still grinding. Already, sure. um, are you posting daily, or are you posting? How do you? How do you? As far as on social media, are you TikToking, or what? I mean, there's a lot of stuff out here now. There's yeah. stuff that 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 people are doing that they weren't doing probably before you left, and you know that. Yeah. So, so uh, have you even looked at TikTok, nigga? Yeah. You ain't checked it out? Yeah, I checked it out. Low put me on TikTok. Low was telling me, <laughs> but he was telling me. I'm talking first day I came home, nigga, you need to be on TikTok. <laughs> I'm like, man, what the fuck is TikTok? You know what I'm saying? It sounds like some gay shit to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, you need to get on TikTok. So uh, I had dropped a freestyle on my brother TikTok, right? And I told him, like, man, just put it on your shit. And I think it said, like, like 200,000 views or something like that. It Don't went crazy. Win. Don't win. It went crazy, and everybody was like, Oh, where's Page at? Where's Page at? So I sent it to Low, and he put me in capital letter. I told you get your ass on TikTok. <laughs> so I like fuck it. Okay, I would have made a TikTok, you know. So but I'm it was hard now. for you, right? Like man. damn, I'm gonna go do this fuck TikTok. It. I'm on TikTok. It sound funny though, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me's on TikTok, y'all. <laughs> What's that shit? It's just Measy on TikTok? What is it? Nah, Gunna Measy 415 on TikTok. Just like Instagram. That's dope, man. So so Gunna Measy on, on, on Instagram. How's your Instagram? Did it? Did you have Instagram before you left? Uh, yeah, but I had like, I probably had like 500 followers or something like that. That's still I wasn't good. really up. That's still good back then. No, it's not. Back then, <laughs> so, yeah, nigga got 500. Yeah, that's who it is, what it is. No, nah, that shit trash. So how did, how did you, how's it doing now? Um, shit, I've been free like 90 days now. I'm going on 10K, something like that's that. Dope. That's dope. So, that's dope. Organic. Yeah, no, we yeah, not doing no cap boost. out here, nigga. I don't know. We, we ain't doing no. Ain't nothing about MHML cap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not from the managers to the artists. You know what I'm saying? I like ain't it, none man. of us cap. None yeah, of us. Yeah. It's everything real. The views, the 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 followers, the love, the hate. Everything is real. What's you know what what's the next music that's coming from you? What what what's the next project? Uh, I got tornado on the way. You know, that's my EP. Okay. When it's dropping? Um, we shooting for July. So it's probably in a couple of days. I probably got a surprise for y'all. Really? Okay. You know. Uh, then we're gonna drop all eyes on me. So all eyes on me. Yeah, yeah, I like it's the that. Tape. That's dope, man. Yeah, for so sure. how do you come up with it? Did you? Is this stuff you wrote when you were locked up? Oh, I got a yeah, joint nigga. project. I got a joint project with Levi Cordia coming out in July too. You know what I'm okay. saying? Shout out oh. Levi Cordia. He, yeah, he tough. You know what I'm saying? So really? yeah. Yeah, and then get him on the show. Check him out. Yeah, he exclusive. You got to You got to You got to fuck with him. He okay. different. He different. Very different. Very what talented. You, how did you link up with him? I've been on Levi for a long time. Plus, uh, we had some situations in the streets. You feel me? Okay. So, you know, and just like me, he went to the feds. You know, he home. He bucked down on his music shit. We both on on the same type of tip. But uh, I was I, I was already actually working on Tornado. And then a uh, loader one told us, like, man, I need to do something. But he was working on him, I was working on me. And shit, 
he just called me one day out of nowhere and was like, bro, you want to do something? And I was like, shit, what you want to do? And shit, fuck it, let's go to the yo. All right, bet. You know, now we got two hot ass songs right now. We're fit to drop a video in a minute. I think sometime this week. So shit. That's yeah. going to be live Levi Cordia Shout out Levi man For sure That's my man. brother man For sure So he top three artists of all time Dead or alive Number one Amazing Number two Amazing You can't do no. it that way What you mean I'm top three Any genre Any genre Any genre You got you to tell us Who your top three artists Of all time is Outside of yourself Who's number one Any genre Hmm Top three artists and don't say eight ball MJG. Oh dang! Oh oh, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> She's meddling, right? She's jabbing. Okay. Good job, baby. Okay, I like Get that nigga. <laughs> 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 it's that's a low deep, but anyway, number one. Number one. Any genre, dead or alive, it could be uh. That's tough. What's I like a lot name? of different music. Yeah, but it don't matter. Just give us three. You can pick. It could change Anybody. some other time. Right now. Justin Bieber. Okay. Justin Bieber, your number one? I love Justin. I got Bieber Damn, fever. Damn, I like that. Man. You got Bieber fever. I do. Damn, that's the first Justin Bieber we done had these niggas on here. Justin Bieber ain't been doing nothing anymore. You know, he's going through his little situation. See, I don't follow Justin. I'm on Justin. <laughs> you know I'm saying? I like Bieber. That's my guy. I what fuck you with been him. going through? I'm a gangster, but I fuck with Bieber. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Fuck what y'all say Fuck how y'all feel I don't give a fuck I don't give a damn I don't I don't Shit I f Hey man Say I fuck with B Shout out people man Come fuck with Amiga man You feel me We gonna turn up We can do something for the bitches We can do something for the kids It don't matter I'm fucking with you B We'll tap in Man that's crazy man So number two Number two Show um, I like Kevin Gates Okay Gates yeah, I like, I like Gates I like Gates as well No, Number number three um, Number three I'm gonna give it to Low Deezer Shout out Low Low Deezer which, which, which song nigga you don't play It's my that. swag up My <laughs> swag up It's my swag up Man hey. that's love man Show man Man, that's Show. dope. I like that, man. That's that's just a real that that's real as it get, man. Yeah. Because Show. that's the city, man. So how, when you came home, you came home to a whole different dimension when it come down to the blogging, man. Like uh, niggas is blogging, niggas is interviewing and stuff. You got a lot of people doing this stuff out here. How does you, how do you think that differ from when you went in? Niggas be on a lot of gay shit. Okay. I'm, I'm, Explain. It's, it's not. It's not. See, this is the thing. They they so quick to down up down. The next person, you feel me? You know, we black. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like, I don't feel like you should down the next black man. You know, even if he do something wrong, you know, then they be speaking on shit that ain't even facts. You know, so they so quick to put out some bullshit when you're not putting out his progress. You know what I'm saying? Why not show them? Oh, this artist did that, did that instead. Instead of oh, well, damn, this artist, you know, what I'm did some bullshit. Like, I don't understand it, you know, and I ain't trying to bring the next black man down no matter what the situation situation is. Yeah. You know, they feel like me and another somebody had a situation, but I didn't only bring them down. I was speaking facts, you feel me? So. Well, like I said, man, my main thing is that you have to be consistent, for sure. You know that. For sure. You got to bring it. Um, uh, there's a wide open lane to me when it come down to Dallas. You got yelling, and then... Really, to be honest with you, after Yellow, it's, it's a lot of room to do whatever. You got trapped too, but I just think Yellow was more of a, for me, a, a, a guy that hit different levels that yeah, he said when it come down to, he set a hell of a bar. He set the bar. So when you look at that whole situation and what we have here now, there's a lot of open, hey man, who gonna work the hardest, who want it the most? But see, Dallas so fucked up, we won't even give Yellow his credit. I'm I, saying. It don't matter what everybody da you say Dallas, but I can't I can't agree. Yeah, what but you, you gotta, gotta understand think about like it. you got profit is what I own in his own country. You can't never everywhere you go, you're gonna hear that same thing from each artist. No, but yes, no. you well, are. I mean, I mean they gonna hometown. say the same thing everywhere they go. When they, when y'all leave here, I'm pretty sure But this shit is like a sport though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who play basketball say what? That's a Kobe is tough that's or different. Michael that's Jordan different. is that's different. No, it's not. We that's all different. this is this is a sport. Rap is a sport. Yeah, but the only thing I say is when you talk about the inner city of Dallas I just don't think that people give you the, no roses like that you got to go get it and you're supposed to but what not gonna give do him it. his roses he went and got it that's right that, give him that, his roses. And, and so but but at the end of the day who went let's let's say this 
Who wouldn't in Dallas, Texas, love to be in yellow position? No, any no, artist. Any artist would love to be in this position. Yeah, Miss Rose is then. That that ain't that ain't the way it works. It don't work like that. It's supposed to. It don't work that way. I know it. It would be great if that's the way it was. But oh, that's how people love you that's more it. when you're not from there. Like if you go other place, when you go other place, it's gonna happen to you too. As soon as you start putting these projects out, when you hit another city, nigga, Mississippi, or something, gonna love the hell out you and grab you and hug you. And every time you get out, you're like, damn, man, these nigga love me in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. These nigga love me easy. I'm just telling you what's gonna happen. And it's Dallas gonna, gonna be and Dallas different. gonna it's gonna be different because they you hear. You home They not gonna do it I just don't I, see it happening I don't understand that though I don't I don't I feel like That's, I, I, that's I the way it's you. supposed I, to be I get it. You know I feel but like But you know how they say That's life Yeah It's just life <laughs> It's life and it's Dallas <laughs> Yeah But, you know what, but, but what y'all did With all those different things The features The Chris Brown features The Gucci mm -hmm. Man features The man uh, the, the, the Putting other niggas On his big song these niggas ain't move like that in Dallas So I, I can't play with that either I always do this on here though So that ain't nothing new Yeah that's Yellow, what we man. do. Y'all are doing this shit, Yeah, man. but that nigga Yellow need to come do an interview, too. Yellow got a lot of come do an interview. If that nigga don't come do an interview, I'm going to start talking down on that nigga. See, I'm gonna you acting like, like Dallas. Right now, I don't you give a damn. Like Dallas. That nigga better come that, do an that's interview. That's our problem right there. So I don't fuck with Yellow, but uh, <laughs> that nigga don't come fuck with me. <laughs> no, nah, that's man. bullshit. I'm going to be honest that's with you. Hey, look, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going through that situation right now as we speak. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas feel like I'm supposed to be fucking with them when I got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come fuck with them still in the halfway house. I still got shit going on. I still got music shit going on. Plus, I got family. Plus, I've been locked up, locked up with niggas for four years. I don't want to be around no dicks, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> I'm trying to go fuck with the family. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. You know, but that's that's the thing. We got to stop that. No, you know, I think, I think, understand that that listen, man got a job to do. Listen, we got a family to feed. When I he come fuck that. with you, he going to nah, come he fuck better. with you. He better. Because I'm telling you right now, I've been campaigning for this nigga ever since we started this Keep damn thing. Keep the campaign it going. It was before I even started this, wasn't it? I always. <laughs> So, about it. So, Cause of trapping designer I gotta let that nigga know that. He already know that If he watched Boss Talk If he ain't in last place anyway Boss Talk is the hottest thing Going on in the south right now shout And out. nigga shout out to Boss Talk Shout 101. out Boss Talk <laughs> Big ass, no. <laughs> no, man. Big I, think, I think everybody doing what they're supposed to do, man. I just talking crap. I got, a, I got a question. So talking back, say, if you had to advise the younger you, because I know there's a lot of kids out here who are still in the streets and very talented where music is concerned but won't leave the streets alone to pursue their music, to pursue their dreams. Because you can't just make the money right off the bat where music is concerned, but when you go to the street, you know, you know what I mean? Right. So how can you advise them to follow their dreams? That's real. Good you, question. Oh, that's a tough one. Because, um, I mean... It, you just got to believe in yourself. It, it, and when I say believe, it's like you really got to believe that one day this shit going to work. And that you're going to have a whole lot of obstacles. That's one reason why I went to the feds, though. I'm going to keep it real. Because at that point in time, I tried to do music without hustling, without selling drugs. I tried to do music. You know, and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of trials and tribulations hit me tough, you know. I, I I can admit now, right now, who I am today, mm -hmm. I wasn't strong enough. You know, so while they was hitting me, shit, I went for it. I went for what I know, family business, you know. Right. So shit, to, to, the, to the younger people, I got to let them know, like, you really got to believe and really understand, like, this is what you want to do. And it's not going to happen tomorrow. You know, you got to put the groundwork in. You got to grind. You got to go through some shit. And, and it's going to be tough. Because from my imagination, uh, because I've never been in that position, but from my imagination, I'd be thinking about when I hear people tell me things, I'd be thinking, okay, you following your dreams, you putting that money, that quick money behind you, but then you have family, friends, everybody with their hands out yeah. because that's what you normally do is feed sure. the whole community, but now you can't anymore because you're trying to do that. I think that that would be the hardest thing. It, and it is because... I wouldn't do the same shit. So when I started back hustling, everybody hands turned into cups, you know. And, you know, they got their hands out. They want a nigga to put something in their cup, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And my heart, so my heart larger than Texas, you feel me? So I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give it to them. But when I went down, did I get the same love? No. Mm -hmm. And that's what they got to understand. When something happened to them, what you do in your music, when something happened to you and you fall, you gonna see who when you try to put it your cup your out. Eyes. When you put your cup out, you gonna see who put a penny in that motherfucker. Right. You feel me? Right. And so that's what I realize now. Now that I'm on, 
I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with nobody. I'm gonna yeah. just keep it real. I don't I, fuck I, with nobody. I, I can That's feel that. But let me ask you this: when you were down there, and uh, yeah, it was some tough times. So tough. you know, it, it, I mean, I'm gonna have to one day get them penitentiary stories out of you. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We have to one day. No, 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 we ain't all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And you gonna come back and you gonna tell me about all them days when when niggas was riding with you and, or colliding with you, nigga. And, you know what I'm <laughs> We'll no. put it in the music, nigga, so I can see. I yeah, that's probably what he's going to do. The, the, the first day I give you a little glimpse of what the fuck happened, you feel me? But, yeah, tornado on the way, so y'all look out for that that's shit. That's going to be dope, man. Believe that. All eyes on me, for sure. So so who, what's tornado going to be about? Prison. Already. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm definitely locked into that. And all eyes on me going to be about? Who I am today. Since the, after the life out of prison. How all I'm eyes on me, you know? Yeah, y'all know what Tupac drop all eyes on me. Yeah, it's basically the same type of shit. That's what I was but wondering. A new wave type of shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? You know, but I'm different. From Tupac. Tupac was a square when he was a kid. I wasn't a square. Man, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna <laughs> do that. I'm just talk, keeping man. it real. We're not I'm just keeping it. That all hell the great. I'm just all hell the great. Don't do that. He was a square. Don't do that, man. He was very square. talented, though. He was talented. He was a dancer. He was I a square. You, I guarantee you, oh, girl, he was girl loved him. Every no. girl loved Tupac. She don't love Tupac. She loved me. She loved me. Oh, she, 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 she just said, I seen the eye movement, nigga. <laughs> Pac, the the Pac. things that happen behind my back. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So, hey, so, man, I, I don't know, man. I've messed with you by sixteen. I really would like to get that sixteen bars, man. Yeah, yeah, and and, and I, I know I got it from Jose Bodega. So I mean, what's up? You scared? Scared of what? <laughs> He'll drop you the beat right now. Yeah, I'm better get let me get this beat. Hold on. You no. can look at the nigga and tell yeah, him. Okay, here him. we go. We back on this. Let's go. Let him go. Man. Let him go, man. All right, let that right, go. Let let's go, man. Check it, man. Got him in the building. Yeah, man. How does it get, nigga? Hey, V. Uh, Line him up. Look, back in that action. Back to these packages, back to kidnapping. Yeah. Niggas ain't bad at they acting. I don't fuck with none of that shit, so don't ask me. Police release LeBron, sit in, try to lock me. Talking to you is full of measles. I was North Tower, bang with some G's, free to stutter B. You all the way Bobby with me. See, ready, get ready. Shit fit to get deadly. I set this shit up with bro T. I ain't talk to Dun Dun, but bitch, I'm the Dun Dun. Died of the gun on who hotter than me. 32 shot, got extension. The bean came with it. I got it tucked down on my jeans. Not a probation, still got that eraser. Don't play me, you'll put your bitch ass on the screen. Every morning, I play chess with a murderer. He say, look, Gunner, you just like me. I ain't get caught, but he just got convicted. Read my indictment, ain't doing no snitching. Niggas say that they want money. I hear dry thug and get jammed. Your real gon' squeal. I pray the real really get a appeal. Man, keep it silent. I know how you feel. Man, hold up, man. Man, hold up, man. You a damn fool, you man. You know that type of shit. <laughs> man, you just said the rap, man. Yeah, low D say let the nigga out the that cage. Let man, the nigga go, shit. man. It's all right, man. We all right. You, you like right. to get down, man. Yeah. So, man, uh, how long do it take you to just come up with something? If we were trying to do a project together right now and I was like say man let's go do this project and I ain't we don't know what we doing but we just go to the studio and we gotta lock in for two or three days or just a night how long I gotta stay there to get my my four five songs that's not a how long I gotta stay there nigga how long you gonna work I'm gonna do my thing <laughs> shit how long how fast is you shit you probably need a pill or some snacks some juice you know what I mean? I don't need none of that let's go you gonna go get it done right there that's it man that's it all man. I need is the vibe as long as we got a good vibe we turning up let's go all the way we gonna cut up bad for sure you so, need that so are man. you a writer or you just drop it straight off the dome I could do both I could do both. I could go out of the dome. I could write, you know. And it don't matter to me, you know. Mm -hmm. But when I, I ain't gonna lie, when I write, I get more in my feelings, if that's the case. Oh, know? okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? When I'm freestyling, it's just like, I'm gonna tell you what I need to tell you right quick, but if I write me a song, it's like, yeah, you're gonna feel me, feel me, feel me. Mm -hmm. Man, so. I, I definitely appreciate you, man. I'm glad I got to meet you. Glad you came on the show, bro. Can't wait till we do it again when the, when the big songs come and you basically blowing up, nigga. Don't forget. I'm gonna act like yellow with you. Nigga. Yeah, see, <laughs> I'm gonna act like yellow. I knew, I knew. I'm gonna act you know, like yellow city, with you. I'm gonna be honest with the real. I mess with yellow because the city want to hear from him. I know that. Okay. He gonna be on some platform. He gonna go hard on whatever he do. So I already know that. I'm just making sure that we put our bid in, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. But now, nah, man, y'all, I love Dallas, man. I love the artists, man. You guys are dope, man. You got to keep on putting that pressure up. I think, like I said, it's an open lane, nigga. For sure. All you sure. got to do is come with it, and it's going down. I'm ball hogging right now. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm oh, ball yeah? hogging right now. Yeah, it was. He want to take over. Yeah, I, 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 
I'm ball hogging. I'm just gonna say that. And you I'm gonna do something with Bobby Billion? Yeah, Bobby need to tap in. I mean, we talk on the daily, but we don't talk about music. You know, we just got a friendship. What about know? Ty Harris? You liking him? You heard his stuff? You heard? I don't Ty? know who that is. That he got a song called Blood Brothers with with, with Bobby, Bobby Billion. Billion. Oh yeah, yeah, gotta check that out. Yeah, I check it. That out. boy dope too. He on the, he on he gonna play that that organ and everything. Okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He, he different. Yeah, for sure. yeah, he ain't like nobody that. that you probably ever even seen. I guarantee he on he was on tour with Snoop, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. He on tour with Snoop Dogg too. Uh, Bobby, Bitt- he's the one that uh, played the piano. Played the piano. Yeah, yeah. That's him. I seen him on Instagram. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he is tough. He is tough. Yeah. I like him too. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah I love dope. to see you get down with him. I'm just seeing who I would who Where I would like to see. Where do you see yourself in the next? Like by the end of this year, like 2023, what do you plan for yourself? Um, or do you plan that far in advance? By the end of this year, I'm trying to make my whole team millionaires, you know. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'm trying to get us up there, not just one of us, you know. When I look at my team, I look at them like I look at me. I don't want just one of us shining, even though they be on some, oh, I don't want the spotlight type shit, mm-hmm. you feel me? Just because you don't want the spotlight don't mean you shouldn't live the way you're supposed to live, you know what I'm saying? You buckle down and gave me everything you got, so I'm going to buckle down and give you everything I got. You know, and they deserve the best, just like I deserve the best. So, you That's know. dope. That's Teamwork cool. make the dream work. Yeah, I believe in my team. I'm, I'm, I'm a team player. You know? Well, I think we got. Did we leave anything out? Anything that we you, you want to talk about? Something you want to get off your chest, nigga? What do you? You talking? can pour it out. Go ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm, 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 nah, yeah. I mean, man, shit. I'm we gonna cool. check out your new music, man. Free we the guys, it. man. Free the guys, man. Thank you so much, man. Free the guys. We love you, gonna music. Thank you. I love Say you, man. Out, man. It's going Thanks down, man. Show. Hey, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.